Hi there. Thank you for tuning into my video blog. Today I want to share a thought with you uh, about whether or not you should accept the first offer on your home as a home seller. My name is Paul Brulette. I'm with Layer Realty Partners and I really appreciate you taking a moment to share with me as we discuss the strategies and getting the maximum sale price for your home. So here's the question. Should you accept the first offer that comes in on your property? Truth be known, in today's environment, we are in a very active marketplace. What could be referred to in New England as a seller's market. So it's important for you as a seller to take advantage of that opportunity to sell your home for the best price and best terms. What we mean by that is once your property is priced where it needs to be, in other words, once your property reaches critical mass or it's priced at the true market value, it's important for you to understand that buyers will be attracted from a wide area to leverage activity on your property. We had recently a sale where the property sat on the market for six months. And the reason it sat in the market for six months was simply because it did not have a garage and it was priced a little bit above the market. So we strategically adjusted the price to the point where it finally hit critical mass. When it did, we elevated the quality of the property by having a very high level of professional services such as photography, videography, floor plans, and uh, documentation being posted online and spread throughout the internet through our uh, various portals. Once we achieved that, we began to get offers coming in. Had we accepted the first offer, we would have lost $43,000 in leveraging that we got for that client. Now, what I mean by that is when the first offer comes in, it's important to understand that if the property is priced right, there will be other activity that will follow maybe a day or several days before that actually evolves. When your real estate agent leverages that situation for you as a seller to your benefit, the agent can take, care, uh, take advantage of all of the market influences that are going to catapult the situation where you as a seller can, number one, achieve the best possible time frame for your sale. Number two, get the best price. Third, you want to maximize the uh, various terms and conditions of that sale, such as minimizing financing, waiving or eliminating certain inspection clauses, uh, putting yourself in a position where you can have either a cash buyer or a buyer with maximum financing. And lastly, if you need a lease back option so that at the end of the sale, you can remain in the property for a week or a month, that's an option that also can work to your favor. So if you have any questions regarding how do you strategize your best move as a seller, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Paul Brulette. I'm with Lair Realty Partners. And uh, you can reach us online at homesrs.com or you can call the number on the screen. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.